Hello and welcome to my awesome health journey. I'm, of course, Brett Dupree, who's talking about my awesome health journey. That's how it works. If I was talking about your awesome health journey, that would probably be creepy because I'd have to be, like, watching you all the time to see where you're eating and what how you're working out. And it'd be almost like some Truman Show stuff, but it's just me. I believe they call that stalking, and I don't want to do that. So that's why I'm talking about my health journey and not yours. I don't know why I said that. Anyway, I, I am thinking about something or just noticing how a s small difference in life makes. I don't know. I had a idea of what I was going to say. And then when I tried to say it, it came out weird. But so Orange Theory is creating this new Strength 50 thing. If you go there, it's in all their marketing materials. And so Orange Theory written Highlands, when I go to switch their 1115 to Strength 50 all week, which makes sense if you think about it as uh, someone who runs a thing and does a thing, you know, having the same workout at the same time every day so people know exactly what they're signing up for without having to think about it too much. But from my perspective, it was like, ah, oh, darn it, you're taking away my favorite thing, which was the 45-minute workouts, which I think I needed a lot because I, mostly because if I just started working out uh, over a year and a half ago, I would have done a lot of uh, leaving, uh, probably. Um, like, 45 is all I had, uh, or 40, like, an hour, like that extra 15 minutes was a lot uh, when I first started. But it's over, and so it's not that big a deal right now. It's just like, I hate change, blah, 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 blah. I'm selfish, blah, 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 blah. Because I am. You know, I'm a human being. The world revolves around me. But sometimes, you know, you're reminded that it doesn't. And every time it doesn't, it's like, Arr! But anyway, uh, I was just noticing. So this month, that change went into effect. And the way I've dealt with that is I changed all my workouts to be 12-15, which gives me a set schedule but it also means I eat lunch at like 1.30 now and I'm finished at, with it at 3 because my lunch is a smoothie. And I'm beginning to think about that because I like eating dinner around 5, but I can't do that or I get too full. Anyway, that's not that I'm about that. What this is about, though, is I'm looking at my workouts. I, If you look at my last April, I found this awesome worksheet that takes everything that Orange Theory gives me per workout I can put it in the information and then I can see a chart of my progress, which has been so helpful for me in getting me to understand where I am and how I'm going. I, I love data. You know, that's one of my favorite things. Look at footballs, look at trends and stuff and like records. Um, it's something I just love. I love stats and data. So being able to look at my stats and my data has been very helpful in keeping me focused and keeping me motivated and wanting to improve it and noticing, not only wanting to improve it, but also noticing a healthy rate of improvement and not getting too upset. As I've mentioned before, last year, my goal was two point miles per hour by like the beginning of the year. And when I charted everything, it actually started charting a year ago, about last September. I noticed that, no, I wasn't going to reach that just because I was able to start and get two miles per hour and sometimes bump it up to like three every once in a blue moon for like 30 seconds doesn't mean I was getting close to being able to average two miles per hour a workout. Yeah, I wasn't close and that made me realize that and so I adjusted my goals to be more realistic and now, you know, a year later I have finally reached that goal and I'm feeling better and better. But the thing that... I noticed is so the way my workouts were before was Tuesdays and Thursdays since there were 45 minutes were my workout days no matter what those are non-negotiable Th this new switch makes it so like I can do Monday Wednesday Friday um, which is what I should be doing every other week maybe I will I don't know or, or I'll go to maybe the idea that I had is Monday Tuesday Friday Saturday um, I'll, I'll just play it by ear. But that's the thing. It allows me to be more flexible in my working out instead of having Tuesday, Thursday workout day. So when I get that shipment of Ozempic, I won't be freaking out that it comes out when I'm at my workout. I can actually stay home all freaking day and just, plan, you know, adjust accordingly. Uh, because, like, you know, it's... Anyway. Um, but what I'm saying is the other thing, which is what this thing is about, is... I'm now working out an extra 20 or so, 20 to 30 minutes a week, just naturally, because that's just the thing. 
I was working out 45 minutes, which is about 40 minute workouts. Cause there's like a five minute, um, you know, variable. They're not exactly 45 minutes. Just like the hour is not exactly an hour. Just ends generally at about 53 to 50, um, five generally, sometimes 45 if it's a really quick workout, but generally speaking, it's like 50 something minutes, but that means it's an increase of 10 to 15 minutes per workout, which means it's 20 to extra workouts per week, which when I look at the calorie burn, I know that thing isn't technically accurate, but I think it's relatively like it says, instead of burning, generally speaking, um, 700 to 800 calories is what it says I burn. Um, when I do 45 minute workouts, all my workouts are over a thousand. And so this change is just like, um, gonna make me burn more calories. Um, but it's also just, it, I don't, it also just shows me, uh, how much extra I'm working because of just this simple change of going with all 60 minute workouts to from the 45, it's almost like I'm getting an extra workout every two weeks, just naturally, just doing nothing, an extra workout. So in the end, it works out. Um, even though I might have to reevaluate my eating, uh, especially with the way I do my smoothie. And since I put so much fiber in my smoothie, it's really hard to drink it in an hour. Cause I generally get back around one thirty, and then I make my smoothie around one forty. 145 and then as I'm working I'm drinking my smoothie which makes it perfect because I can work and drink but it's really hard for me to drink it before I want to drink it before 2 30 but that's hard so generally finish it around 3 and force myself to finish it all around 3 because I know I want to eat dinner but maybe I just start eating later dinners and start becoming a later dinner person um, because I also noticed since I got sick I'm having you know gas uh, more if I eat too much that's starting to happen a little bit, which I think sickness kind of affected my stomach with the Ozempic. But it's starting to it's starting to get better. But I noticed when I finish my Susie at three and then I eat at like five five thirty, it can come back again and get a little bit of stomach ache. So I'm gonna have to probably start eating dinner around seven. Just yeah, changing my entire mindset of how I live my life. So yeah, I mean that's what life is. You gotta roll with the punches. I mean, nothing stays the same. The only constant is change. And so just have to embrace it and roll with it. And little changes. And honestly, due to the fact that it is me working out a little bit more, it will be better for my body. And, you know, and, and I can handle it. So that's what I just want to talk about. Just, you know, rolling with the punches, dealing with change. Life is good. And I am happy and I love you for who you are because you're amazing. <laughs>